thought I've spotted something in the grass. Let's go and have a little look quickly. But it'll be a great way to come back to work after a nice leave is to have a whole bunch of cats lined up all over the place. Is that a leopard there? It is a leopard. There we go. <laughs> so we found ourselves a leopard already, which is fantastic news. <laughs> so there in the long grass, which Seb is now trying to find, is a leopard. So you can see Seb is also struggling. There it is, straight ahead, Seb. So there is our leopard, tucked away in the grass. Now, who are you? I'm not sure who it is just yet. It's quite difficult to see. I've got lots of glare on my screen. It's still very bright and from where I'm sitting, it's quite far away. You can see Seb is all the way zoomed in. So what a start to our afternoon. I didn't expect to find a leopard here. They said to me that the kills for these leopards were in other areas and it looks just like Tundi. So I wonder if Tundi hasn't come for water after getting a kill and has now positioned herself in this area. Seb, let's just reposition ourselves so that we can actually see her better, but it looks like her. She's certainly making her presence known in this area these days. She's spending a lot more time and that's just ridiculous. <laughs> well, Seb, that can't ask for better than that to start our afternoon in that, in that fashion. Now, of course, she does have a kill somewhere, but the guys explained it to me that it was close to Twindams, very close to Hosanna. Now, I wonder if maybe Hosanna hasn't gone towards that kill and maybe, with his slight bulk, has tried to bully her a little bit, or she just came for water and has decided to rest here for a little bit while she waits for the heat of the day to cool down and then she'll go back to the carcass that might be stashed in a tree somewhere. I wonder if that over there, do you see there's a bit of red in that tree? Yeah, there's the kill there. You see it? Seb, straight in front of us. So there's a tree straight in front of us where there is the carcass is actually dangling over the branches. So it's in that tree somewhere around there, Seb, is where you'll see it. So you can just see a bit of red and a leg that is dangling over it. There's no other leopards by the looks of it around that tree area. So I wonder if maybe she dragged it all the way here, put it up in the tree, and is now just resting fairly close by. Unfortunately for us, there is a deep drainage section here, so for now this is as close as we're going to be able to get. We'll have to probably go around onto the other side to be able to see her a little bit better. But what a fantastic way to start our day. But you can see she's just grooming herself. She's only popped her head up because we came past. So hopefully what we'll find is that she is going to spend a bit of time resting while it's warm. And then she'll get up later and start moving to the tree. Now, we're going to quickly jump across to Taylor so she can say hello to all of you this afternoon. I'm sure she's rearing to go in the Mara.